It looks like the usual chain stitch but with alternating chain colors. The magic is in the needle. Thread two color flaws into one needle and make a joint knot. Come up and go down close by but not in the same hole. Leave a loop and hold it in your left hand. Next come up stitch length ahead and place one of the loops into the needle. Working thread down that pulls down on the right can be twisted, but make sure threads are not twisted on the left. Pull the needle up along the stitch movement. Pull the thread from not working loop until it's invisible. Repeat, come down close to the previous hole. Leave a loop. Come up stitch length ahead and place one of the loops into the needle, alternate the colors. Make sure threads on the left are not twisted. On the right it's ok, they will go under the fabric. Pull the needle up along the stitch movement. Pull the threads until you have your new chain. If you run out of thread, go down outside the loop. Secure thread on the back by sliding under stitches. Do not poke through fabric. To measure new floss, I put them together from the beginning, so they would have the same length. Thread into one needle, make a knot, come up through the last loop and down in the nearby hole. Be careful and move the knot out of the needle's way, or you won't be able to pull it through. The rest of the process is the same. To finish the line, go down, wrapping the loop. That's the whole magic! This stitch gives a lot of freedom and can be used for both outline and filling. I used it to create a rug in the Inside the Flower Shop pattern. Link to the pattern is in the description. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video!